tutorial video I show you how to create this Sakura Haruno outfit. The pattern can be downloaded for free. And the link to the pattern is in the description field. And as you can see I've added here a little detail to the leg. And this white is just a small ribbon which I've made with a knot on the pants. We start by sewing the two seams of the top together. You fold your fabric like this and you sew them together here and here. Now we can sew the two back parts onto the front part. You place them like this and you sew them together until here. This part stays open as a detail. And you sew together here at the top, this little part. I'm taking a small white ribbon and I'll be sewing it as a detail along the bottom of the dress. Here, upward here, down once again to this side, upward here, down again until you reach the other side. After sewing the details onto the top, I lay the side for now and continue with the sleeves. And also for the sleeves, I will sew a small white ribbon along the edge. And after you're done with sewing the ribbon onto it, you double the sleeve. I sew it together here. When you're done with the sleeves, you fold them with a good side of the fabric on the outside. And now we can sew them into the top. You place them through the hole and you align the seam of the top with the seam of your sleeve. And you sew them together all the way around and you do the same for the other sleeve. Now we can sew the two back parts together. To align them at the bottom. And sew them together from the bottom until here. And this part stays open, otherwise the dress won't fit over the hips of the doll. Now we can fold the dress with a good side of fabric on the outside. And the only thing left to do now is sewing velcro or snap buttons on the back. And your dress or top is done. For the pants we start with sewing the two leg parts together. You place them on top of each other and sew them together all the way on the outside and on the inside until here. And this part stays open. After sewing the leg parts together you turn the fabric with the good side on the outside and you can sew the legs together. Sew them together here in the front and here in the middle and a little bit at the back. If you're using a fabric without stretch, you need to leave it open at the back. Otherwise the pants won't fit over the hips of the doll. And if you're using a fabric with stretch like I have, you can sew it all the way together. And you can slip the pants just like this onto your doll. If you're using a fabric which isn't stretch, you need to add the velcro snap button at the back. And your pants is done. For the leg detail you cut out this piece of the pattern and we start by sewing the small sides to this small side and that small side and the long side will be sewn here. And after you've sewn them together it looks a bit like a box. Now all three parts of the bottom are sewn together and now we can sew the two longest parts together. You make the stitching line here. The detail is sewn together all the way around. And now you can turn over the good side of the fabric on the outside. And I've drawn the same pattern on a piece of cardboard. 
and you need to fold it the same way as you just sew your piece of fabric. So you get this small box and I'll be taping it together. And when you're done taping it together you can place it inside here. So your detail won't fall flat when wearing it on the doll. As you can see I've placed the box inside the detail. Now I fold the part which is still loose over it. I zoom together here. When the box is fully closed, you take the leg strap and I'm sewing it here in the middle of the box on the edge here. And now you can sew a velcro or snap button on here and here. You can put it like this on the leg of the doll.